Hi, my name is Qi Xin Hu, thank you for your interest in our paper. In this video, I will present our work, Label Free Liver Tumor Segmentation. AI has dominated medical image segmentation, but training AI model often requires a large number of provoxel annotations. Such annotation is not only time-consuming but also requires extensive medical expertise. Therefore only roughly 100 CT scans with annotated liver tumors are publicly available for training AI models. In this paper, we handcraft a strategy to synthesize liver tumors. Our method requires zero annotation, and we can control the synthetic liver tumor with different sizes, shapes, intensities, and textures, resulting in infinite image label pairs. The AI model trained on synthetic tumors can segment liver tumors as accurately as AI trained on real tumors, showing the potential of a paradigm shift from label-intensive to label-free liver tumor segmentation. Here are some examples of synthetic and real tumors. Even medical professionals with six-year experience cannot tell which are real and which are synthetic tumors. The professional got an accuracy of 20% on visual Turing test, which is lower than a random guess. Can you tell which CT scans are synthetic tumors? This is an example of AI prediction trained on real and synthetic tumors. As you can see from here, Training an AI model on synthetic tumors performs as well as training it on real tumors. Highlighting that synthetic tumors have the potential to be used as an alternative to real tumors in training AI models. Now, we will provide more details about our modeling pipeline and results. Inspired by the standardized guidance, medical knowledge, and distributional characteristics of tumors, we develop a modeling-based method to generate synthetic tumors. Given a healthy CT scan and liver mask, we use four steps to synthesize the liver tumor. The first step is location selection. Including vessel segmentation, location proposal, and collision detection to select a proper location for the tumor. The next two steps are texture generation and shape generation, we use a sequence of morphological image processing operations to generate liver tumors. The last step is post-processing. To get a realistic liver tumor for medical professionals, we need extra pipelines to simulate the mass effect and the capsule appearance. Here are some examples of our synthetic liver tumors. You can find the generated tumor within the red box. We conduct the visual Turing test on 50 CT scans, where 20 scans are real tumors and the remaining 30 scans are synthetic tumors. Tester can mark each CT scan as real, synthetic, or unsure. The junior professional with 6-year experience, definite judgments of 49 out of 50 samples are given. Showing the confidence of the professional. However, all of the accuracy, sensitivity, and specificity are below 30%, which means the generated samples succeed in confusing the junior professional. The senior professional with 15-year experience achieves accuracy at a high level. But he was not sure about 11 synthetic tumors and got the wrong prediction for 7 synthetic tumors, getting a total of 18 out of 30 generated tumors confused him or her. This result shows that even professionals can't distinguish synthetic tumors from real tumors. We also compare our label-free tumor synthesis strategy with several prominent unsupervised tumor segmentation methods designed for both natural and medical images. This table shows that all the previous unsupervised methods exhibit suboptimal performance in segmenting real liver tumors. In contrast, our label-free tumor synthesis, a novel approach to unsupervised tumor segmentation, significantly outperforms all these methods and achieves similar performance with a fully supervised model trained on real tumors. 
In addition to evaluating the models on just the LITS dataset, we assess their domain generalization ability using data from other datasets. For example, MSD pancreas, MSD spleen, and MSD cologne. The figure shows our model trained with healthy data collected from three different datasets shows better robustness than the model trained on real data only from LITS while achieving much higher specificity on the three external datasets. It is noteworthy that higher specificity is crucial in clinical applications as it reduces the number of patients subjected to invasive diagnostic procedures and their associated costs. Beyond that, AI models trained solely on synthetic data outperform those trained on real tumors in detecting small tumors in the liver. This result is important because early detection of small tumors is essential for prompt cancer diagnosis. But such cases are scarce in real datasets because most patients remain asymptomatic during the early stages. On the other hand, using synthetic tumors, we can generate enormous small tumors to train the AI model and therefore improve the efficacy of the model in detecting real small tumors. In addition to enriching the training data, our synthesizing strategy also enables us to rigorously assess AI robustness. Standard evaluation in medical imaging is limited to determining the effectiveness of AI. This is because the number of annotated tumors in the existing test datasets is not big enough to be representative of the tumors that occur in real organs and, in particular, contains only a limited number of very small tumors. We show that synthetic tumors can serve as an accessible and comprehensive source for rigorously evaluating AI's performance in detecting tumors at a variety of different shapes, sizes, textures, intensities, and locations. Thanks for your listening. For more results and details, please refer to our paper. This work was supported by the Lustgarten Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research and partially by the Patrick J. McGovern Foundation Award. We appreciate the effort of the Monai team to provide open source code for the community. We thank Yuching Tang, Huimiao Chen, Bowen Li, Jessica Han, and Wen Xuan Li for their constructive suggestions. Thank Camille Torico and Alexa Delaney for improving the writing of this paper. Thank you.